Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. Here's your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Groupon is wrapping up the first half of its roadshow, preparing to go public with its stock at the end of next week. The company is planning to sell $540 million worth of shares in an IPO valuing the company between $10 and $11 billion. That's a far cry from the whispers of a $20 to $30 billion market value just a few months ago. Questions about management, accounting, and potential profitability still dog the company. And now the roadshow itself and a revised prospectus are raising more questions, including some about their customers and how engaged they are. One of the things they really allude to is their customers being consumers very heavily and how engaged we all are. It, we did some analysis on the legacy customers, so the customers that had already purchased prior to Q3. And you look at their transaction volume, their rate of purchases by that legacy group, it's declining. It declined by about 50% over the last couple of quarters. Now that's tremendous when you think of the level engagement that you have from consumers. So that's a, that's a very big concern. You really want the momentum going in the other way. Another question is why management did not attempt to find a better example for its roadshow of a business that benefited from running a Groupon. The one they picked, a Louisville restaurant named Ceviche, is no longer a fan. Its Groupon ran last year by previous management and the new owners told Reuters they don't see the immediate benefit of Groupon. Summer says it raises questions about who is Groupon's customer. And you look at how they manage their merchants and the merchants that we've talked to don't know their salespeople very well and don't know the team well. But they understand today, if they go through Groupon, they're probably going to get better redemptions because the mailing list is just massively larger. Not because it's better, it's larger. So what does that mean? It means the merchants don't have a relationship with Groupon. It couldn't be any more highlighted than the fact, you know, that example in the Roadshow. In his Roadshow presentation, CEO Andrew Mason also talked about the competition and stressed that his sales force is the company's key line of defense against copycats in the daily deal space. Groupon replaced the weakest 10% of its sales team, a way to prove to investors that the three-year-old startup can act like a growing public company. And the company also cut its sales staff's commissions. Investors have worried for months that Groupon's business model is too heavy on fixed costs like sales. Groupon sales per employee are lower than they are at AOL and Amazon.com. Groupon is definitely under pressure to cut its overhead costs as it tries to turn a profit, which Summer does not expect to happen until 2013. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on Groupon and all of your local business news, be sure to stick with chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.